Hello, detectives. We've been busy gathering clues that will help us discover the true meaning of Easter. Last week, we talked about Jesus riding a donkey into Jerusalem. That was the start of what we call Holy Week, which was the last week of Jesus' life before he died and rose again. Today, we have a few more clues to help us figure out the meaning of Easter. What do you think a cup, some bread, and a table have to do with the story of Easter? Let's be detectives and dig into the Bible to figure it out. Last week, we saw what Jesus did on Sunday of Holy Week. Today, let's see what Jesus did on Thursday. On that Thursday, Jesus and his disciples were in Jerusalem to celebrate the holiday called Passover with a special meal. He told his disciples to go into the city, look for a man carrying a jar of water, and then follow him to his house. When they got there, he said the man would bring them to an upper room in his house, and that room would be all set up for a meal. So the disciples did exactly what Jesus told them to do. When Jesus arrived, he and all of his disciples shared the Passover meal together. While they ate, Jesus passed a drink and some bread to each of his friends. Then he told them that one of them in the room would betray him and that he would die. The bread and drink symbolized that. The disciples were shocked and so sad. They couldn't believe it. Jesus told them to drink from the cup, which represented his blood, and eat the bread, which represented his body, to remember the sacrifice Jesus was going to make for them. So what did the bread, the cup, and the table have to do with Easter? These things are clues that remind us about Jesus' death, the sacrifice he made in order to save us. Sacrifice means Jesus gave up his life for us. So what do bread, cups, and tables have in common? They're all clues that teach us something important about Easter. Every Easter, we remember Jesus' sacrifice.